Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm highlighting the website called Shop Miss A. If you haven't heard of Shop Miss A, it is every makeup product and more for a dollar. So each product you find on shopmissa.com is literally a dollar. So I created this whole full face look. Here's my little shipping for $17. Actually, it was like $16.90 something, including shipping. If you want to see how I got used all these products for a full face look, including the eyelashes, stay tuned. All right, let's get started with our $17 full face makeup look for $17 or less, and that is including shipping. Here we go. I'm going to start with the three-in-one foundation stick by Amuse. I've never used a foundation stick before, so this could be interesting for me. I like trying new things. I will say putting on foundation in a stick form is a little strange. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing other than it feels like I have a giant crayon and I am coloring all over my face. I'm not sure if I'm putting on too much, not enough. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> This <laughs> is already making me laugh. Okay, so this color is in fair. I typically don't use a whole lot of powder, so since the foundation was light coverage, I'm going to try to go in maybe a little heavier with powder. I did purchase their Muse 3-in-1 contour palette. So let's see what this contour palette does. So we do have a bit of a darker color here and I think I'm gonna mix these two together to give a little bit more definition. I'm going to take a little flat, fluffy, or flatter, fluffy brush, and I'm going to take this light color here and go right up underneath where we just carved out a new cheekbone. I chose a nice peachy color for the blush and it only says blush on the back. It doesn't give a color either, but this is by Starry. So we're gonna go try to hit those apples. And this looks like it is pigmented pretty good from the get-go, so we may have to bring that down a little bit. I wasn't expecting that, obviously. We got some peaches on the skin. I'm just going to go over that with my kabuki brush and see if I can't blend it down some of that. There we go. I'm going to blend it to a nice light peach, not a, whoo, peaches and cream. Highlighters. 
and I wasn't sure which color I wanted to go with. So in my $17 face look, I actually bought two of them. So I have one in Goddess by LA Colors and one in Frosted. And I think I'm going to mix it up a little bit with Frosted. This might be easier to dab. Ooh, for a dollar. Holy mackerel, look at that. That highlighter highlighted really strong. And I have some highlighters that cost a lot more than a dollar that doesn't do that. So, oh, we got to blend this highlighter in a little bit. So that did really good. If I wasn't, if I wasn't going to go out in public next, I would actually do the other highlighter and see what it looked like versus this bright white. Um, so, wow, this dollar highlighter is worth the whole package so far. And I don't know why I just put a ton on, but check that out. Holy mackerel. Okay, I'm gonna be playing with these highlighters some more, definitely. We got blingy with it. Um, next I'm going to go in with the clean color lip pencil. This one is in toast. It's kind of a nice brownish color. I ended up going with a lot of these brown colors just to be safe. And as you can see, for a dollar, this is actually going on really well also. The Clinista. This is a lip color. Almost looks like a bit gold. And there's no color name on it. smells like a great popsicle. Now that we have kind of a nudie type face, I think that'll help us with whatever we decide to do for the eyes. And I am going to go ahead and start with an eyebrow designer pencil. It's in brown by Santee. Sure makes it easier when they give you the colors. Got a multicolor shadow lover. It's got a group of purples, a little bit of a brown, some grays, pinks, and teals. So I thought this could be a little bit fun to play with. So we'll see what we come up with next. I think I'm going to start here, and these don't have colors on the back either. And it's kind of a peachy pink. And since I've been using the skin skin tones. Earth tones. We'll start out with this peachy pink from eyelashes up towards the brow bone. And I'm going to just use this little nudie brown here. And work that into the crease going about two-thirds of the way in and down the side
and I'm still shocked they were only a dollar for the whole palette. As you can tell, I'm just enamored with the price of each of these products. I'm gonna take one of my favorite angle brushes and we're gonna do a little bit of the gray and this navy blue. Totally not the colors I thought I would go with, but um, I'm kind of liking. Then I'm going to just take the gray alone and go on the outer third to darken that up. They actually carry e.l.f. also. And so I'm going to use the e.l.f. in black and this little eyeliner comes with a sharpener on the lid, which I thought was kind of handy. So we are going to line the upper eyes. I'm not sure how well this eyeliner will work. Um, so if it is smooth enough, we'll actually do a little bit in the waterline also. with my angle brush and smooth the waterline with what I smoked out a little earlier. Now I'm going to take an e.l.f. This is actually a contour brush but it's short, fat, and fluffy. And I'm going to go in with the gray. And do a little bit in the lower V. Then I'll take my Morphe 501 brush and just kind of blend that out. Since y'all are getting to know me well, you know I can't do an eye look without some falsies. So they have falsies and this one is the Kara number 43. And for sticking power, I'm just going to do a little dab on my eyelid. Whoop, I did a big dab right there. The reason why I do that is they tend to stay better on me with um, both sides, the false eyelash and the lid having a little bit of tackiness when I put them on together. And that way I don't worry about them falling off, flying off, fluttering off as I am at work or I'm just going to put the middle of the eyelash with the middle of my eye. and pop those right on. I'll push up to make sure we have a nice fluttery look. And next, I'm going to apply mascara to these falsies so that I blend my own lashes in with my pretend beautiful thick eyelashes. And I'm gonna do that with the LA Colors Lash Building Mascara, again, Thank you. 
full face look, I'm gonna give my opinion on the each of the $1 products. So the Shadow Lovers, I use basically, so for the Shadow Lovers, I basically used about four of the colors. For this eyeshadow palette, it is pigmented. It does have a lot of fallout, but what would you expect for a dollar? And to get all of these colors to do different eye makeup looks for a dollar, ladies, if you are scared of trying colors or you don't want to invest a lot of money, but you still want to try, Shop Miss A really is a great starting point for you as you are learning how to play with colors and not spend an exorbitant amount of money. So this palette is actually really good. I'm looking forward to doing a bit of a purple eye look next with this. The Cleanesta Press Powder. I'm used to using um, powders that don't have color in it, so this was an experience to use. Um, this color was in suede. I did like this. If you like a powder with color, this would be a great one to throw in your purse and touch up throughout the day. The Contour Trio. So I wasn't exactly like over the moon for this. Um, I, you really couldn't see either of these colors. So these might be good blending colors for eyeshadows. This chocolate color, I blended with this medium color to get a little bit of a carved look but this chocolate was still a little bit too dark for my kind of, my color skin. So, um, not too excited about this palette, but again, if you wanted to not use it as a contour palette, but use it as, um, some eye colors, I actually think you would get a lot of eye colors for the $1 price. Next, I'm going to highlight the mascara. So the LA Colors Lash Building Mascara, it did fantastic. Um, I typically don't use a lot of mascara because I tend to weigh everything on the false eyelashes. Um, as you can see, my false eyelashes are missing because boom, they are right there. I will say that hands down, these Kara eyelashes are probably one of my favorites and they are less expensive than the Ardell. For everyday um, fake or false eyelash wear, I use these, um, I interchange these with the Ardell. You can actually get a price break with these the more you buy in bulk on Shop Miss A, which hello, they're a dollar a piece. So when you shop in bulk, they're even cheaper. I do like the band on these. They don't wiggle a lot. They pop on very easy and they stay throughout the day. So if anything that you get from Shop Miss A, I would say this, the uh, false eyelashes are my favorite. The ones that again that I have on are Kara number 43. This was the first time I've used Kara number 43. I actually use a different one for day in, day out wear. So guess what? I will be going back and purchasing Kara number 43 in bulk. So going back to the mascara, because I do use false eyelashes, I only need a light coverage. I only usually swipe on a little bit of mascara. So for you mascara lovers, I'd love to hear your feedback on the mascara. For me, I just use the mascara enough to blend my lashes in with the false ones. So really for a dollar, I probably will be giving up the extra mascaras I get either from the drugstore or high end because why spend extra money if I don't need to? So I would recommend the mascara if you're only using a light coverage. Now, the blush. Okay, so I love peachy blushes and this one actually is really good. I was shocked because when I was putting this blush on, it went on like, hello, pigmented. So I was not expecting that from a dollar product. In fact, I had to use my Kabuki brush and kind of blend it down some. So the pigments in this blush for a dollar, I think I'm gonna go back and look and see what other colors they have because I'm really interested in trying some more of these. Again, I was way over the top shocked at the quality of pigmentation. 
I'll go to the wah, wah, wah. what I would never purchase again and or use is um, the Amuse 3-in-1 foundation stick. First of all, it said it was fair. It looks fair. I put it on and oh my gosh, um, I think a lot of the orangish color in my skin right now is because of this foundation stick. I'm fair. I'm white. I am not orange. And so it's really interesting to see that the, the stick looked fair, but, and I don't know. Um, the other thing I didn't like about this is I'm a full coverage kind of gal. I have splotchy face. I have reds. I have a hot mess for my general skin tone and this did nothing for me. So I actually tried to color it on. I felt like I was back in kindergarten with the fat crayons. Coloring on some more and really I think that made it worse because it made it more splotchy. So then when I tried to apply the powder, it just wasn't even and flat. So as far as the three in one foundation stick, that gotta go, that's in the trash. Not gonna use it again, not forwarding that to my worst enemy, just saying. Okay, so as far as, okay, so as far as the pencils go, I used three. I used a eyebrow pencil and this one was in brown. It actually really kind of matches that swatch color, not used to that. So um, anyways, this brown from Santee would be great. I think I mentioned in the video for a blonde or a light brown um, hair color. For me, I have a much darker color, so I would need something a little bit stronger than this brown. I'm also not used to using a pencil. The pencil worked really well. It had a spoolie at the end and it went on fine for a dollar. So if you're just now trying to get into figuring out if you want to play with your eyebrows and maybe change the shape or fill in, I would recommend starting out with that. However, I am, I do enjoy more of a cream eyebrow, pen, not pencil, a cream eyebrow. So I am not a fan of pencils, but I don't want you to stop trying to use that just because it's not, a, I'm not a fan. The next thing I used or in the look was clean color lip pencils. Um, I was expecting it to be dry. I was expecting it to be patchy. I was expecting it to be a hot mess. It really wasn't. Went on pretty easy. My only complaint was that they had sharpened this bad boy to a sharp, sharp point. For me, I do, I don't, I like my pencils to be a little bit more dull, so during the process of putting it on, I did kind of color in my lips to dull down that sharp point. Um, I will be purchasing some more of these. Again, I want to try different colors. I want to push myself outside my comfort zone, and I don't like to spend a lot of money on something I may not like. So these clean color lip pencils, I will be purchasing in an array of colors because I do want to see what other colors that I might enjoy that I normally wouldn't use. So I would recommend the lip pencil. Elf, Elf has a great name. They sell Elf brushes. Um, they sell other Elf products. So um, I, again, I don't use a pencil pencil for my liner, I usually use more of a cream, but e.l.f. shocked me and surprised me in a good way. So the eyeliner pencil went on really well. It went on smooth. It does have its own sharpener on top so that if you need to sharpen it up, you've got your sharpener there and you don't have to go look for one. That I think is a brilliant idea. So I got this one in black. It's again, one dollar and um, I really like this pencil. This would be another one that I would purchase for everyday use. Another product was the Cleanesta. It was the golden tone lip color. I wanted to stay kind of neutral in the face because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the eye colors. Sometimes I get inspired at the moment that I'm putting them on. I'm 
don't always like to pre-plan what I'm gonna do for a look. In saying so, I think this color was really nice. It went on, it wasn't too um, wet, it doesn't move a lot, it smells like a great popsicle. Um, as far as transfer, if you look at my mug, it does transfer a little bit, but not over the top. Um, it sits well, so really and truthfully, Cleanesta, Again, I'm not opposed to purchasing these again in colors that I probably wouldn't use every day, just so I can try different colors. And um, I probably will be using this one again. Okay, so my second favorite little shock and surpriser that came from Shop Miss A was these cheek and lip tinted from LA Color. I had one in excuse me, goddess. I did not use this one, so my $17 face look included a product I didn't even use. Um, however, I did want to try the frosted, which was the white, and as you can see, that went on amazing. So these little bad boys for a dollar, oh my goodness. I, I have some high-end highlighters that don't perform like these little bad boys. So, I would say go ahead and purchase highlighters. Let's say you're not used to using highlighters, you wanna try, but you don't want to invest a lot of money because highlighters can be expensive. Go look at LA Colors cheek and lip in the highlighter section because again, these performed very well. I can't wait to actually use the Goddess, um, not just because it is a beautiful color and I love the name, but if it performs as well as the Frosted did, again, this was an absolute home run hit. So ladies, that's my um, full tutorial on the face. It is also my opinion on which products worked and which ones didn't for me. So if you haven't checked out Shop Miss A, again, this full face look only cost $17 with shipping. I didn't use one of the products and I didn't break the bank trying something new. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. I have shopped from Shop Miss A multiple times. The only thing that I would um, say that could be challenging is that the products never get here fast enough. So when you find a great deal, you want that in the mail the next day. So um, do be a little bit more patient because it does, I order it through regular mail and for $3.95 to get all these products, it's worth the wait. So thank you again, ladies. I appreciate you taking the opportunity to watch my channel. If you did like this video and the review, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or send me to a friend who might like my insane craziness. I do appreciate the time you spent with me as I know there are many beautiful artists out there that you can spend time with. So the fact that you spent your time with me is very humbling and I cannot thank you enough. So I hope you all make it a beautiful day. Thank you very much.